And AMD is constantly looking to get down with new technology when it comes to how they're gonna be bringing out their CPUs. And while Intel came out with the hybrid architecture for x86 chips first, looks like AMD is gonna be following right in their footsteps because we actually have testing information on the first big little CPU design by AMD. It's gonna have two Zen 4 cores as the big boys and then four Zen 4 C cores as the little ones, which as far as I'm aware, the C cores have really only been implemented on Chromebooks but I could be mistaken on that, but those are supposed to be the little more power efficient cores, but the hybrid architecture does look like something AMD is going to be embracing. So this is actually gonna be called the Phoenix 2 processor, and it's not quite clear when this will come out. It's not gonna be launching with the Phoenix processors, but however, the benchmark that we found it with does seem to indicate that somebody outside of AMD has actually begun to test these CPUs, and we're gonna see this being implemented moving forward. Whether or not this is gonna be in the mainstream desktop Ryzen platform, if we see something like an 8950X come in with 12 big cores, 12 little cores. I don't know how they'll divide it up. Intel's really been confusing me with their choice in numbers as well, but we might start to see the same approach, especially when it comes to laptops. It makes a lot of sense to have these power efficient cores because then you can maximize battery life. I still not a huge fan of it for desktop PCs, but it is a way to keep the power draw down, which we've seen with the 7950X that AMD is also going to be gobbling a lot of power juice as they continue to march on forward with giving us more and more power in the CPUs. 